Dr. Sindelar, there's a lot of talk about the need to reduce sodium in the diet. Is it difficult to reduce sodium in processed meats? Isn't it just a matter of putting less in? Well, an average consumer would think that it would be very easy to reduce sodium in processed meats. But if a, if a, if a consumer understands what sodium does and what function it serves in processed meats, they might understand that it's not that easy to do. Why is that? Well, sodium is very important for a number of functions. The first and foremost, which all of us first realize and recognize, is flavor. Sodium gives us the saltiness. Sodium is also very important for processed meats in giving us the unique textures and eating characteristics of sodium. So when you, go to, when you purchase your favorite hot dog and you bite that hot dog, the reason that that hot dog has that firm texture and that bite is because of sodium, which is part of sodium chloride, also known as salt. Sodium is also important for safety, and we've utilized sodium for centuries to uh, control uh, the growth of bacteria, both spoilage, the ones that spoil food, as well as pathogenic, the ones that can make us ill. Is that why people ate salted meat before we had refrigeration? Absolutely. That was one of the principal uh, preservation methods prior to refrigeration, and that was salting meat. And as we have moved through time and, and after the advent of refrigeration, we realized that we could utilize refrigeration and other techniques to preserve meat or extend their shelf life. And as, as a consequence, we realized that we could use less and less sodium and still maintain the other important attributes, such as flavor and quality. However, sodium is still important for improving uh, food safety as well as serving as a preservative in processed meats. Do meat products contribute a large amount of sodium to the diet relative to other products? Well, there's no question that processed meats contribute sodium to the diet. However, all meat contributes, contributes sodium to the diet regardless of if it's fresh or processed. There's a small amount of sodium in muscle and so even if you buy, a fr even if you consume a fresh cut of meat, such as a pork chop or a beef steak, you'll still be consuming a very small amount of sodium. So processed meats certainly has more sodium than that from the sodium chloride. However, if you look at all the different foods that we consume, and we, we consume a wide array of different foods, processed meats don't always have the highest sodium content. So what are some of the products that you have here on the table? We have a variety of different food products that I purchased at a, at a local supermarket. Products very typical that a consumer might buy and bring home and feed to their families. And I have them organized from the lowest amount of sodium to the highest amount of sodium. So bacon is at the low end of all these products. Correct. And that's very surprising to many people because Bacon usually tastes the saltiest of most of the foods that we eat. However, if you look at the label of most bacon products, you will find that they're actually one of the lowest sodium containing foods. These bacons, and this is a pork bacon and a turkey bacon, have between five and 10% of your percent daily value for sodium. If we move this direction and we look at the bread and the cheese, and some snacks, and, and this is some roast beef, these products have a little bit more sodium. They have between 10 and 15% of your percent daily value of sodium. These products have between 15 and 20, and this group of products, they have a very high amount of sodium. They're above 35% of your percent daily value for sodium. I think a lot of consumers are, will be really surprised to hear that. Absolutely, but foods are complex systems. And because of the, all the other ingredients that are in foods, sometimes that saltiness, which is caused by the sodium, doesn't always stand out. So in terms of the products available, is the meat industry offering reduced sodium products today? There are many companies uh, across the United States that have initiatives to reduce sodium content in their processed meat products and still try to maintain quality, safety, and, and all those important uh, 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 properties that consumers want. And will this be on the label so they can determine which to choose? Most definitely. Many manufacturers put it right on the front of the package if a sodium reduction has taken place in that product. And it might say 25% sodium reduction or it's 35% sodium reduction. Some manufacturers 
may not put that on the front of the package because they may slowly be reducing the sodium content in the processed meats over time. So but it will always be in the nutrition statement? Correct. The nutrition label will always tell you how much of those components is in that food. So how concerned should consumers be about the sodium they get from meat products? Consumers should be aware of the sodium in, that's, con, that's in processed meat products, but they should really only be concerned if their doctor recommends that they watch and, and control their sodium intake. So eating a healthy, balanced diet then would probably ensure adequate intake? Correct. By uh, eating a, a normal, healthy, balanced diet, uh, an, a, a consumer should very easily be able to uh, maintain or stay within the recommended daily allowance or the percent uh, daily value for sodium. Mm -hmm.